Did you know that the CURP document changes every three to six years in Mexico? Whether you're applying for a driver's license, looking to enroll in free healthcare in Mexico, or anything in between, then you might need to know how to access and print the most up-to-date version of your CURP. And in this video, I will show you exactly how to do just that, as well as what to do if you encounter an error message when looking for your CURP. Before we get started, if you're new here, Hi, my name is Aaliyah, and the goal with this channel is to help with all things Mexico. After moving to Mexico ourselves and having to figure everything out on our own, my husband and I now, with this channel, make it our goal to make things in Mexico sound not so foreign to foreigners who may be living in Mexico. So whether you're just visiting, passing through, or establishing roots, join the journey and let's get mixed in Mexico. If you watched my previous video on the CURP, then you're probably an expert on the CURP by now, and you probably know a lot more than most Mexicans. In that video, I detail what the CURP is, why it's useful to have in Mexico, and what it's made up of if you want an easy way to remember yours. So if you haven't already, you might want to pause this video and go watch that one first. But if you have watched it, bueno. <laughs> You know that while the CURP itself doesn't change, there's an aspect of the official document that does change. And if you've been following our journey, you know that Mexico has a track record of moving the finish line when it comes to accomplishing any task in Mexico. You go to an appointment or you try to apply for something important and you think you have all the right paperwork until they say, nope, this form is out of date. We've made an extremely minute change in this document and require you to now get the most up-to-date version of it. That's the Mexico way at its finest. So you lose your place in line and you go away feeling frustrated and dejected and angry. Hopefully with this channel though, I can help you avoid that feeling. So let's get to it. Let's show you exactly how to navigate the Mexican government's website to go ahead and print or reprint the most up-to-date version of your CURP for free. So you first open up your web browser, whichever one you prefer. I'll be using Safari and you go to the link in the URL here and it will by default be in Spanish, but in Safari, if you click here on the upper right hand corner, you can translate it into English. And I know Google Chrome also has that option there for you to translate it into English if you so choose. And then you will see you are consulting or printing your CURP. Uh, you just need your information and the cost is free. You can either click this blue button here or you can just click it here and it'll take you to this page where again you can translate it into English. And there's just two steps in order for you to get your CURP. And there's two ways that you can get it. You can either enter in your CURP if you know it and you're just trying to print the most up-to-date version of it, or you can enter in your personal information. I will show you both ways. You enter in your CURP here if you know it. I paste mine in, and then you check, I'm not a robot, if you are indeed not a robot, and then you click search, and then all the information will pop up. You can scroll down and download it or I will show you the other way. If you don't know your CURP and you're checking to see if you have a CURP entered in the system, you can either just click here on personal information or you can click don't know your CURP and it'll take you to the same tab. And here you are entering all your information. So starting with your name as it appears on your birth certificate. So if you have a first name and a middle name, you would put that here. I will put mine in. Next, you put your first last name or your only last name here. I'll put mine in. Next, you put your second last name or your maternal last name if you have one. Uh, most foreigners don't, but if you do, you can put it here. Next is your date of birth. You put that here. I will select mine. Next, you go to the month of birth here. I will select mine. Next, you type in the year of birth. I will type mine in here. It is in the format of four digits for the year. And then next you will enter in your sex on your birth certificate. 
And then lastly is the status, it says. Well, really, it's just the state of your birth. And if you hover over this question mark, it will say, choose the state of birth. That's on your birth certificate. So when you click this drop down menu, it'll give you all the states in Mexico. And of course, if you weren't born in Mexico, there's an option all the way at the bottom for foreign born. So I will select that. And then next, most important question, <laughs> I'm not a robot. Select that and then hit search. And the same as before, all the information will pop up. You can scroll down and verify that everything is correct. You will see your quip at the top up here. It's blurred out, of course. And then here in this red button, you can download it. And if you click that, and then it pops up. And you will see uh, either a picture or a flag here. Most uh, Mexican citizens or even naturalized citizens have a flag here because at the time that they register their birth, they don't take a picture, but most temporary and or permanent residents have their photo uh, ID that they took when they became a resident of Mexico here. So if you don't have a photo, it could be blank or it could have a flag. It means nothing. The only most important thing is that you have the most up-to-date version of your quip. Next, I will show you what to do if you encounter an error message. So I'm back at the same exact page checking my quip. Uh, I am going to the personal information tab here. I entered in all of my presumably correct information, which is incorrect. So my name will be John Doe. My birthday will be on September 15th, 1980. I'll be a man and I'll be foreign born. And then I will click, I'm not a robot. And this presumably is all my correct information. Then I click search. So after typing in all your correct information and hitting search, if you get this error message, it will ask you to send an email to this email here on the screen. I'll also link it in the description portion of the video. And it will ask you to send uh, a copy of your birth certificate and your official identification. So if you're a Mexican, you will, of course, send your Mexican birth certificate as well as uh, a form of identification, Mexican form of identification. And if you are a temporary or permanent resident and you're trying to correct your CURP, you will send in a copy of your apostol apostolized and translated birth certificate as well as a, a copy of your temporary or permanent resident card. I will also link in the description uh, a useful website which will also show you all the documentation that you can bring in, whether you're a temporary or permanent resident. And I'll also show you here now. So it's here on the screen. I, you will go to the URL here and I've translated into English already. And this is for the modification or the correction of your CURP. And it just shows you the, the necessary documentation that you would need. So if you are a Mexican citizen, you can bring in any of these identifications. And if you are a foreign resident, you can bring in any of these documentations, primarily your temporary or permanent resident card, along with your birth certificate. It will be free and you can either take it into the INM office if you are a temporary or permanent resident or the Registro Civil office if you're a Mexican citizen to correct the issue. Uh, and of course, they say to send an email to that email. So I do, I'd cover both bases if I were you. I'd email them. Uh, and if you don't get a fast enough response, depending on what you're trying to do, I would then also go into the office if it's possible, whichever office you need to go into, whether it be INM or the Registro Civil Office. And it will be the same documentation if you need to obtain a CURP. So here's a website. The URL is here as well as in the description. And it's the same exact documentation that you would need if you're correcting a quote, your birth certificate, as well as uh, a form of identification, whether it's a Mexican form of identification for a Mexican citizen or a temporary or permanent resident card for Mexican residents. So here it is, it'll show you the same for Mexicans or foreigners. I hope that walkthrough was informative yet helpful. If it was, feel free to like the video or leave a thumbs up emoji in the comment section, or simply share it with someone you think may benefit from it. Well, enjoy the process, friends. Hasta pronto. See you soon. Nos vemos.